right guys um so what we got here this is a uh, wild boar um country and western model and those of you with sharp eyes and a bit of guitar knowledge will realize that this is a gibson j45 copy um solid spruce top and solid mahogany back and sides and Waverly style tuners, which are great. And you can see the um, is it trapezoid inlays, um, which I think are mother of pearl or an imitation of it. And I've, I've actually fit a bone saddle to it. I think it had a bone saddle and bone nut anyway, but I, I tend to get an unbleached bone saddle and I put some uh, ebony pins in. Just. I don't know, maybe it's one of my foibles. Mm -hmm. So what about the guitar then? Um, I, I saw this guitar in Guitar Shack uh, on Abedale Road um, some months ago. And I played it with um, the strings that uh, Ross had left on it when they bought the guitar in, um, which were old and tired. But I tell you what, it has such a beautiful tone. It's really, and I was mesmerized by it. I, I sort of like, it became, I kept going in and because it, I forgot the name, I forgot it was called Wild Boar. So I ended up calling it Groundhog because I kept going in and having the same experience of playing it thinking, oh, this is such a nice guitar for that sort of Jack Johnson vibe. Um, I, I also sort of liked the idea of getting a slightly smaller body dreadnought to get a, I, I recently come in, uh, across, um, is it Chris Stapleton? And the singer, the American country and western singer, who's got an exceptional voice, but he, he swears by his 1950s um, J45, which must cost about 5,000 or more. And there's no way I was going to spend that. So for a couple of hundred quid, these are sensational. Um, now, what I found out about the um, Groundhog Day, no, sorry, the Wild Boar guitars, um, that they're brought in from by Guitar Lounge in Retford. And Stuart Palmer, a guy who I originally came across in uh, um, electro music in Doncaster years ago, is an excellent, excellent luthier and um, guitar technician. Brilliant. And I think he's he's behind these. And I know I've seen some um, Groundhog Day, no, sorry, Wild Boar guitars um, advertised on Reverb, which look exceptional. And they've got Stuart Palmer design, you know, attached to their, their spec. Um, and I just thought I'd give it a review. I reviewed some other models and I thought, no, this is a, a Far Eastern made guitar, all solid. Um, I've dropped the to D. Out you now, but um, oh, yeah, by the way, so these are Martin Silk and Steel strings as well. I've, I've really taken to these on my guitars because um, they've got a nice played in feel, and they when you put them on there, they're quite um, soft like um, nylon strings, uh, and they play like that as well. They've got a really nice soft feel, but still have the, the beautiful tone of 
So this is a product of um, 